The question says, if bar A moves to the right at a speed of x, how does bar B move? Is it A to the left and slower than x, B to the right and slower than x, or C to the right at the same speed? So again, we start with the knowledge that bar A, this top bar here, will be moving to the right at a speed of x. And then we see between bars A and B, we have four gears, which we can label L, M, N, and O for easy reference. So we can see that gear L and bar A are directly meshed. And if bar A is moving to the right, then we know that gear L will be rotating clockwise. We also know, as a consequence of them being directly meshed, that they will have the same tangential velocity. So in this case, that tangential velocity will point in this direction, so parallel with the movement of bar A, and it will be equal, so it will also be equal to x. Now, we can see that gear L and gear M are directly meshed. And we know that for any two meshed gears, their directions of rotation will be opposite, and their tangential velocities will be the same. So if L is rotating clockwise, then we know M will be rotating counterclockwise. And again, they will have the same tangential velocity, which will be equal to x, but point in a different direction. In this case, the tangential velocity will point this way. And likewise, we can continue the same line of thinking throughout each system of meshed gears. So next we have m and n, which are directly meshed. If m is rotating counterclockwise, then we know n will be rotating clockwise. And again, they will have the same tangential velocity, which will be equal to x. Now, lastly, we have gears O and N, which are directly meshed. If N is rotating clockwise, then O must be rotating counterclockwise. And once again, the tangential velocity will be the same, equal to x. So now we have this last gear, gear O, and bar B, which are directly meshed. And if gear O is rotating counterclockwise, then we can see that bar B will be moving to the right. And because we have the same tangential velocity going from bar A to gear L, gear L to gear M, and so on, we know that bar B will also have a tangential velocity equal to x. And therefore, the correct answer is C, to the right and at the same speed. Now, as a final precautionary note, consider that we've been talking about the tangential velocity, never the rotational velocity. So even though some of these gears, as a consequence of being larger or smaller with greater or fewer number of teeth, that is not relevant to the problem. We must consider the tangential velocity in order to determine the speed of bar B. And the tangential velocity is preserved from bar A all the way to bar B. And therefore, it's at the same speed. And because of the directions of rotations that propagate through the system, we know that it will be moving to the right.